established your understanding of what is on the guitar, and now we're going to move to the next page, which is page three, and we're going to work on getting our strings in tune. So the first thing we need to know with getting our strings in tune is the pitch, and we want to know how high or how low the sound is. Now just, uh, just a little um, excerpt, we're going to have a string your guitar session at the, la at the end of the DVD series. So there's going to be eight weeks of lessons, and then you're going to have a week nine lesson that's going to have how to string your guitar. So if you need to do that and you want a more thorough explanation of how to string your guitar um, than just going and asking somebody at the guitar store and you want to watch someone multiple times, you can do that through at week nine. Okay? So back to getting your strings in tune. We have strings on the guitar, poof, you know, that's completed. And then now we're going to string, you're going to tune your guitar. Okay? So we talk about the pitch. The pitch is how high or how low the sound is. And um, if you have a tuner, I'll show you the one that I have. This is something that you'll need to use for the tuner, uh, for tuning. Okay, so when you tune, you've got um, what looks like a flat note on mine, and you have what looks like a sharp note as well. And um, then there's a little spot in between that basically signifies that you're in tune. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with um, standard open E tuning, which is on the right of your page, and it says standard open E tuning, string and note and it tells you the lowest pitch note which is the sixth string the sixth string is actually the one um, furthest away from the ground the first string is the one closest to the ground so the sixth string is the thickest string and um, it's got the lowest sounding um, of the strings so you have six strings when i say the sixth string i'm meaning the one furthest away from the ground first string i mean the one that's closest to the ground and you'll hear me re reference those strings a lot so it's important that you pay attention to that okay so the notes of the string that we're going to tune the strings to are going to be E for the 6th string, A for the 5th string, 4, uh, D for the 4th string, G for the 3rd string, B for the 2nd string, and E for the 1st string. So if you notice, I've played an E on the sixth string and the first string. So we have two of the same notes, just an, uh, several octaves higher for the high E. Okay? So when we do that, our strings are going to be way out of tune when we first put the guitar, um, put the strings on the guitar. So it'll be way out of tune, and so we're probably going to be like really low and flat. And that's the idea with pitch. We're lower or we're flatter than the note that we want it to be. So when we get our tuner, we're going to turn the tuner on, and we're going to put it up next to our guitar, and I can hold it here for, for now, I'll put it on my leg. So I'm going to hold it, and it's telling me C sharp, yours may tell you um, uh, that it's lower than E, because some tuners basically have the note of the string that you're going to go to. If it's lower than E, um, then you want to move it up to E, and that's really all we're going to do. We're going to move the string up to E, and you'll see that the string is strung to where it's from the inside to the outside. So if you're on the top, you want to push it away from you. If you're on the bottom, you actually want to go toward you. So the top string will go toward you to go higher. And I'm going to go that, put that back down to E. So we're actually sharp on the high E right now. There we go. We're back on E, on the high E. And then the low one, the sixth string, is low right now. It's flat. So we want to keep bringing it up. And I have to stop talking so that it can hear it. There it is. So as I hit the uh, correct string, it'll show you a green light. And you can see it. It'll fluctuate a little bit off and on that green light. And the main thing is that you've got it, for the majority of the time, on the green light. Um, it doesn't have to be on the green the whole time. Just for the majority of time, um, it needs to be on that, that green light. So um, I've tuned the first string, the sixth string, and um, the rest of them are in tune because we've already tuned the rest of them. Um, and again, go to week nine to see the rest of how to string the guitar and make sure that they're in tune. To open E-tuning is what we'll be tuning it to, okay? So then we're going to go to the bottom half of that page, page three, and we're going to talk about holding the guitar. As you see, I have it already held in the way I'm supposed to hold it. Um, what we're going to do is there's there's several steps on your page, 
and it basically gives you an idea of how your arm is supposed to look. So step one is put your elbow on the top of the guitar and you can do you know, your arm straight up. And then step two is to bring your forearm over the front. So you can see how my forearm is resting, basically. Um, I don't want to have the front of my like arm like this, um, the bicep, I don't want that over the guitar like this. I would, it's, the best, it's best to learn it where we have our forearm over the top and our fingers are dangling over like this. The third step, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the third step is to do thumbs up. And when we do thumbs up, if we're going to be picking with our fingers, this is the way you'd want to learn to do that, is thumbs up and it, you're going to have your thumb parallel to the strings. Then when your fingers come down, they're going to be perpendicular to the strings. And if you're picking, you're going to actually pluck with the side of your thumb, not the flat part up here, but the side of your thumb. And then your fingers are going to dangle perpendicular. What It's naturally going to, do, going, to get, going to do this when you start playing. You're going to go like that. And your fingers are going to come in a little bit, and that's okay. Um, but say if I'm playing in a picking pattern that goes like this. Um, see how my thumb is has about an inch out in front of those other fingers and that's important that your fingers your first through fourth fingers are not in front of your thumb because if you're getting to pick quickly it will be in the way um, so you want your thumb the concept is to keep your thumb about an inch in front of your fingers so that's why we do thumbs up so it's like this and we can see the structure of how our fingers are supposed to hold the guitar so for now we're just going to use a pick when we put a pick in our in our hand so you will want to um, use the point of your pick when you strum. Um, I actually strum with the side of my pick. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell you straight out that I do it differently and I don't want you to do as I do, do as I say. And the point of that is because I've been playing for a while and I used to play like this with the point of the pick. But now I'm playing here because I got into bluegrass. And so when you play bluegrass, there, the goal is to get as close to the strings as possible. And so when I pick, you'll see me, um, I'll want to pick really close to the guitar, so I'll play like this. And I'm focusing on the, the intenseness of the strings. If you're doing um, regular picking or strumming, it's better to learn this way first. And then if you want to go to a certain style, you can do that later. Um, but I really can't go back now because I've learned it a different way. Um, I could, but there's no desire for me to do that. So I will be picking with the side of my pick um, through the series, okay? As a result, you wanna uh, strum with the point of your pick, okay? So then we're gonna go from page three to page four. 